Is this happening to you? then you're in the right place for video game training. In this video, we'll take a look at how to defeat Juzo the Drunkard on Sekiro. Okay, so first of all, I'm gonna show you how to do this using a Gatchin Sugar. If we do it this way, we can get a free sneaky death blow to start off the fight. And this is the way that I would recommend if you do have a Gatchin Sugar. You want to head over to your right and then use a Gatchin Sugar towards this fire section here, and then hug the right wall and make your way all the way around. When you get close to Juzo, you want to crouch down and then make your way behind him. Sometimes this stealth death blow is a little bit and you have to wiggle yourself around a little bit until you can see the red death blow icon. So just be 100% sure that you can see the icon before you press attack. After we've got the first death blow, we then want to go and take out the adds. So make sure to have your axe at the ready as you'll need to use your axe on these shield enemies. Most of these adds just take one attack to take them out. The main thing here is just to look out for the enemy that's kind of alone on the edge of the group and try and pick the lone ones off one at a time. Be careful not to get overwhelmed by all the enemies at once. You may also get poison, so if you you do just use an antidote to cure it. Other than that, just keep concentrating on taking out all these extra enemies. If you can, try to be aware of where Juzo is whilst you're taking these enemies out because you really don't want Juzo to bop you on the head with his sword because it can hurt a lot. After you've taken out all the enemies, then head on over to the NPC that will help you out in this fight. He's just kind of chilling by these rocks over here. You might need to spam through his dialogue really quickly. Now we've got the second and the final death blow to do on Juzo. A lot of Juzo's attacks are slow and powerful, so sometimes dodging out of the way can be quite useful in this fight. The main tactic that we're going to be using here is trying to place Juzo in between us and the NPC ally. So we can divide his attention and then we attack the boss in the back when he's facing the NPC ally. We can throw the oil at Juzo and if it connects it will cover him in oil. After that's done we then want to use the flame vent to cause the burn status on him and the burn status will slowly be bringing his health down. Ideally you want to try and save as many spirit emblems as you possibly can for the use of this flame vent. You can also use ash to buy yourself a second or two so if you need to heal up or apply a buff then feel free to throw an ash first of all just keep in mind that the ash has to connect with his face to cause him to stagger and he's quite tall so sometimes when you throw the ash it can just go underneath his legs and completely miss so just keep that in mind if you're trying to stun him with the ash you can also use the firecrackers to stun him as well but ideally you want to be saving your spirit emblems for the use of that flame vent if you don't have any gatchin sugar i'd recommend taking out the archer first of all using a stealth kill a lot of the same tactics do apply if you don't use the gatchin sugar for example, taking out all the enemies first of all before concentrating on Juzo. Once again, make sure you have your axe so you can take out these shield enemies. The main thing here is just try to divide his attention between you and the NPC ally. Try to attack him in the back when he is focused on your NPC ally. Hit him with those jars of oil, hit him with the flame vent to cause the burn status. And if you keep on top of that, you'll have this fight in the bag in no time. If you want to continue your video game training, then check out one of these videos right here. I've covered loads of games such as Elden Ring, Security. Hero, Bloodborne, Dark Souls 3, Neo 2, Ninja Gaiden, and loads more. Some videos have just popped up right now. Feel free to check them out and give them a click. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.